My name is Peter Sherman. I am the member of provincial parliament for Thornhill, and I'm a member of the official opposition, which is the Progressive Conservative Party, for whom I serve in three different critic roles, the main one of which is finance. What must your party see in the Liberal budget to support it? We have to see a significant effort to reduce the deficit. The deficit is the amount of money that uh, the province is spending over the amount of money that it takes in, kind of like a loss if you were in a business. Uh, if you add the deficits created by all governments over all the years since Ontario was founded, it adds up to about $250 billion or a quarter of a trillion dollars these days. And what we've been told recently by economist Don Drummond is that unchecked, operating on a business-as-usual basis, the province of Ontario will have a deficit in the fiscal year 2017 to 2018 of about $30 billion and will have totaled uh, provincial debt up to uh, something in excess of $400 billion, and that becomes untenable because we cannot afford the interest costs and will then have to cut into the kinds of programs we deliver to Ontarians. So we need that, and we obviously need major effort in stimulating the economy and moving towards a place where we have full employment, where we get rid of 600,000 people who are on the unemployment rolls, making Ontario the laggard of confederation in unemployment for the last 61 months. If you were finance minister, what would your priorities be in this budget? I'd be looking towards uh, movement, towards balancing the books. Of course, if I were finance minister, without trying to sound too vain about it, I don't think we would have gotten into this mess because our party operates on a very different level than the government of the day, which is the Liberal Party. The Liberal Party believes that it is the grand uh, father and mother to all of society here in Ontario. We believe that we're simply representatives of the people. We believe that government's job is to create conditions where everybody can succeed and everybody can prosper. Uh, and we mean on a business and a personal basis. Uh, for that to be done, we have to be the prudent leaders. And what that means, uh, in turn, is that there's an amount of money that comes in through taxes and various programs that the province operates. Uh, there's also an amount of money that's spent, and we think those have to be equal. And how that's done is you look at the column that are mar that's marked needs, and you fulfill every single one of those. But when you get to the column that's marked wants, much like in your own personal life, you cannot have every single want that's there. You must fulfill all of the needs before you get to the wants. The Liberal government of Dalton McGuinty doesn't understand that, and so my priority would be to turn that entire idea around. What recommendations within the Drummond Report do you favor the most? I don't recommend uh, looking at the Drummond Report as a blueprint for anything. The Drummond Report was commissioned by Dalton McGuinty and the Liberal government. I now believe it was done uh, as a device to get us off our game and delay uh, discussion of what this budget was going to look like for about 10 months. There are 362 recommendations made by economist Don Drummond that, in his view, uh, taken in concert, and that's a very important aspect of it, would, while causing some pain, allow us to move towards a balanced budget by year 2017-2018. The Liberal government of Dalton McGuinty has already signified by way of $4 billion worth of spending that it's not going to uh, take out, based on Drummond recommendations, that it has no intention of looking at that as a blueprint for the financial success of Ontario or the movement towards a balanced budget. So in our view, the Drummond report is about an economist telling Dalton McGuinty what he needs to do, Dalton McGuinty not taking the advice, and the Drummond Report not commissioned by us is not something that we ever uh, would really care to act upon. So we're not going to comment on particular issues or particular aspects or particular recommendations of it. Uh, if, if we were the government and we thought we needed a report, we would do so. But I don't think we ever would have gotten to the stage we're at.